Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Hope well, hope you're looking off yourselves on this Monday early afternoon. Early afternoon. Um, yeah, we've got, I think, I think a lot's come out in the last sort of uh, 24, 48 hours around the whole Spurs, Liverpool, VAR, all that situation. Um, I do want to talk about it. I do want to give you some of the updates around what's happened, some of my thoughts and feelings on it. Um, we do have some trance news as well around... Uh, a few different players that you're going to want to kick about, kick about for. But let's start with the, the PGMOL statement, as well as Liverpool's reaction to the situation, because I think this is a little bit more important than transfers in the next few months. Um, so if, if you're not interested in what's happening with Liverpool, or in my opinion, skip on and watch the, the, the transfer news that's coming up in a minute. But anyway, let's talk about it. So the statement reads, the PGMOL acknowledge a significant human error occurred during the first half of the Tottenham Hotspur versus Liverpool. The goal by Luis Diaz was disallowed for offside by the on-field team of match officials. This was a clear and obvious factual error and should have resulted in the goal being awarded through a VAR intervention. However, VAR failed to intervene. PGMOL will conduct a full review into circumstances which led to the error. PGMOL will immediately be contacting Liverpool at the conclusion of the fixture to acknowledge the error. OK, so this was around the disallowed goal that Luis Diaz had where he was on site. And the situation was on-field referees had said that's offside. Uh, miscommunication with VAR. VAR thought they'd given the goal. Therefore, they said the checks were complete. There's no, you know, there was no lines drawn, anything like that. It then... Because the referee's gone, oh, check's complete. That means I was right. It's offside. We play on. And uh, yeah, Liverpool kind of got screwed out of a goal there. Um, because of this, uh, Liv this is basically from Liverpool. Liverpool have said that we will be exploring a range of op uh, options available given the clear need for escalation and resolution. So, that, you know, this could be legal action, you know, a suing of sorts and things like that. But there was one thing that they potentially want from this situation, which it's just a joke and hilarious, is that they want the game to potentially be replayed behind closed doors. So they want Spurs to give up a home game because obviously they want it to be replayed behind closed doors. They want any sort of sort of suspensions on, on things like that maybe rescinded because the game didn't count. And then they want to be played again. And this just shows to let... Look, I'm all for VAR being held accountable. I'm all for Liverpool getting retribution to a degree in this situation. I'm not for that absolute horrific joke that they've come out with saying they want the game to be replayed. Because that unfortunately will open a can of worms. Because any time Spurs get a decision going against them, they'll go, want the game replayed, please? Thank you very much. You've given it to Liverpool, so we now have to have it. That is a avenue and a can of worms that it's not going to happen. And the reason why it's not going to happen is Spurs have to agree to it. And why would Spurs agree to it? So you want us to give up a home game. You want us to give up three points that we've already got guaranteed. You want your players to be back off suspension because the game didn't count. And you want it to be basically a game in your favour. No, that's not how it works. I mean, you're hard done by, and I agree, some of the decisions were a laughable joke. But the fact you're wanting the game to be replayed is just, it's pathetic now. It really is. Look, VAR should be held accountable. VAR should be having retribution given from them. And they... They are at fault for this. It's not Spurs as a fault. You know, you can't ask Spurs to then do things for you that, let's be honest, you wouldn't do for Spurs. And Liverpool fans, if you think they would, you're lying to yourselves. It's not going to happen. So it's a dead rubber. It's not going to happen that Spurs will um, be given those, that game back and those three points back to say, oh, no, let's play. Let's play another game. You know, it suits you that we're playing another game. It suits everything to this situation suits you because you're Liverpool and you feel like you need it. Anyway... Um, just a little update, Dermot Gallagher thinks that the Curtis Jones uh, sending off was actually a correct decision. It's a fair play. He thinks the sending off was fair. Look, I, I still think it was deemed a little harsh. Look, it was a nasty challenge, but hey, I've said it all in another video. If you want to go back into another video, check what I said, please do. Comment on it and let me know your feelings, but I'm not talking about it in this video because it's not relevant. Um, let's talk some transfers because... I think this is what a lot of you are here for. Um, so on the transfer front, what I want to do is actually want to start with an update around a player that we actually had a bid rejected for and we were going for at the end of the window through Lloyd Kelly. Ekrem Kanur said that Newcastle United are planning to make a move to sign Lloyd Kelly in January. Um, he's had a really decent season so far for Bournemouth. I think Bournemouth have had a good season so far. 
Um, definitely thought they were going to get relegated and actually so far have surprised me with the the level of performance they've shown. Um, I can still see Spurs going back in there because I think he suits what we're trying to do with the back two that we have in Romero and in Mickey van der Ven and the backups that we're going to need towards them through Phillips or you know, through, a, through a Lloyd Kelly. So, I mean, look, he has a market. Homegrown helps. All these things do help, especially in Europe, they help. I think... I think I see Spurs going back in there, but because of his performances, I see his market value rising, and I'm interested to see how far Spurs will consider his valuation. I just got a feeling that Bournemouth might outprice Lloyd Kelly out of moves. I have to wait and see on that one. But that's on Lloyd Kelly on Santiago Jimenez, the Fire Nord striker who's tearing it up at the moment. And um, again, Ekrem Kunor have said that Real Madrid can make a move for Fire Nord's Mexican striker Santiago Jimenez in January. Um, Real Madrid is a weird one. They're winning games and, and, you know, they're winning them late. I mean, Bellingham scored seven and eight and something like that. But they don't really have that out-and-out -out striker threat. Hosselu, he's been playing up front for him, but misses a lot of chances. I think they do need another option. I know they're hell-bent on the whole Mbappe thing, but they do need another option. I think Santiago Jimenez is not the worst option in the world. If you think of Rodrigo and Vinny up top, you know, quite a young team actually, Real Madrid. He would suit that trajectory and that timeline, you know. So, and I think the way he's played this summer, I think his market value is going up. I think his attention is going up. And I think, you know, Spurs will do well to get him if we do go for him, you know. Um, and yeah, just to sort of give a little bit more of an update, Ekrem Kano said that Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Benfica, Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham have expressed an interest in Santiago Jimenez. So, you see what I mean? Massive market, massive, massive market. Um, it's one of those things, if we do want him, we're going to have to be quick because I think this level of teams that are there for him, you, you, you know, I don't see an Arsenal or Chelsea waiting around. You know, if they don't think they can get Ivan Tony, they're not going to wait around. They're going to go and get their plan B. And I think plan A for them is, well, Ivan Tony between them. But I think also for Chelsea, it's Victor Ossiman from Napoli. So, look, it might end up being that out of the... The Prem clubs, we're the most likely to get him, but it doesn't mean it doesn't stop Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid getting him, you know? So, interesting enough. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comment section below about this whole PGMOL situation. Liverpool wanting to get the game replayed. Think it's a bit of a joke like I do. You think, look, they've been hard done by and deserve a little bit of something from this situation, but not that far. You let me know. Let me know around the Lloyd Kelly situation as well as Santiago Jimenez. I'll be interested to see if you think we might even go in for either of them in January. I'll be interested to see what you think of that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.